Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it, guys. Now, guys, we are about 40 subscribers away from hitting 1,000 subscribers. We have like three or four days left. Can we do this? Can we make this 1,000 subscribers push? If you're new and you're a Cardinal fan, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it and joining the community, guys. Just now, today we're going to go ahead and talk about two topics. I feel like two topics that we are kind of, a lot of people are talking about at this very moment. So I kind of wanted to make a video specifically for these two topics. Of course, the first topic is going to be, is Kyler Murray going to play this coming week, 48 hours from now, actually less than 48 hours right now against the... Um, Los Angeles Rams and as well is also we want to talk about is Vance Joseph in the hot seat is he gonna lose his job this coming Black Monday which is also about 72 hours away guys we're gonna go ahead and dive into it here shortly go ahead and roll that intro topic I want to go ahead and get into today is, is Kyler Murray going to play against the Los Angeles Rams? And just kind of my thoughts of, should he play? Should he not play? Is it beneficial uh, for him to play? And that's what I kind of want to go ahead and dive into today. So as of right now, where we're standing, Kyler Murray's statistical, statistical, <laughs> his yards for, uh, you know, passing yards is 3,397 yards with 18 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Now, he has a rating of 87.9, which at the end of the day is actually pretty decent for a, a, um, a rookie. I mean, I think we hit it pretty good in the draft. Um, of course, I was pretty bummed out when we did what we did to Josh Rosen, but at the end of the day, right now as it stands, I'm kind of like Josh Rosen who unfortunately and it's really sad to say but Kyler Murray I do feel like he is um, you know he, he's the guy he's gonna be the guy that we're gonna need to write out for the future now um, a few different things that I want to go ahead and point out for Kyler Murray the only way in, in heck will I ever see Kyler Murray taking the field if he is 100% now if he's not 100% if he's 95% 90% I do not think Cliff Kingsbury is going to put Kyler Murray in a situation where he's not 100%. Like, there's no point of him being out there further injuring his hamstring issue that he has currently right now. I mean, who knows what's going to happen, um, you know, if we put him out there and he's not 100%. I mean, a lot of the times, you know, especially in the past history, a lot of our players did get hurt from playing the Rams. So I'm not saying the Rams are like, you know, shady people or always trying to get somebody hurt or anything like that. But all I'm trying to say is, you know, why risk Kyler Murray um, if he's not 100%? Now, if he's 100%, at that point, absolutely, put Kyler Murray in there. Um, let's see what he has. I know Kyler Murray is a baller. I know he's competitive. He wants to play in this game. There was a press conference with him earlier saying that, yeah, I mean, absolutely, he wants to play. There's no doubt in my mind that Kyler Murray does not want to go and play this game against the Los Angeles Rams. Now, there's definitely some reasons for him to want to, you know, play uh, this game. Of course, he wants to go ahead and, you know, get revenge from that horrible, abysmal, you know, game we had against the Rams. Probably one of the worst games he had uh, in his rookie year. Um, so I'm pretty sure he wants to go back out there and, you know, show that he can actually do something against that defense. Um, and also possibly, you know, playing again is you know, another possibility to, you know, uh, build stats up and, you know, possibly go for the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. I'm not sure how much that really is is a big deal for him but you know it would really be pretty cool as far as for the fans to say like wow our quarterback is offensive rookie of the year that's pretty awesome this is a building block from here on out um, I'm not sure if he really cares about it too much but it would be pretty awesome to see now like I mentioned before Kyler Murray is a straight baller and he's a competitor so he I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to be playing um, if he's hundred percent so right now we're 48 hours you know, less than 48 hours for the uh, Los Angeles Rams and the Cardinals game, and he has been put on the um, on the injury report as questionable game time decision decision right now. So that's kind of leading me to believe, like, oh my God, like 
it, can this be the Brent Hunley show? Like, it's a possibility. It's a pres- it's a definitely a, a possibility that we'll see Hunley, um, you know, this coming game and not Kyler Murray because he's not 100%. So I'm really, really, really excited to see what's going to happen, what's going to transpire if Kyler Murray does play um, this coming Sunday against the Rams and to see, you know... But, he needs to prove. He needs to prove that he can go back out there and have a better game than he had in the beginning of um, the, you know, when we had played the Rams earlier. Um, I'm pretty sure he wants some sort of revenge against the Rams. Well, switching over topics here, I want to also go ahead and talk about Vance Joseph. I know a lot of people have been talking about, you know, throughout the whole season, Vance Joseph's on the hot seat. Van- Vance Joseph needs to get fired and-, and all that different stuff. I've been saying it from, I feel like, um, I- I've been kind of backing Vance Joseph um, this kind of whole time. I know there are some times that I probably might have said, you know, gone on that bandwagon and said fire Vance Joseph as well. But if you look at the grand scheme of things, Vance Joseph did not have a lot of his players throughout the entire, the you know, the entire year. Um, we've been losing people as far as like you know the D linemen cornerbacks um there just was an abundance of players that he did not have to his disposal in order for him to go ahead and fully fully get his defense going now if we get another you know showing like we did against seattle and actually containing russell wilson then it's definitely a possibility that we can have Vance Joseph back next year. Now, I know a lot of people might not want Vance Joseph back, but we just got to really consider and give him an absolutely fair opportunity to show if he can do this job. Now, I do think Vance Joseph can do this job. Like I said, if we have another showing like we did against the Seahawks, then absolutely, I think 95% he is going to be the defensive coordinator for next year. If there's another showing like it happened the first game when we played against the Rams then at that point we can talk a little bit different Um, then at that point Vance Joseph might be on the hot seat and he might be getting fired um, this coming Black Monday which is the day after the uh, last NFL games this coming Sunday so it's definitely a possibility it honestly I think this game has really really big implications on if Vance Joseph is going to keep his job or not. Um, It's a good opportunity for him to kind of go out there and, you know, get a good game plan um, and make sure that, you know, Hassan Reddick is in a great position to be successful. Chandler Jones is a great uh, person to be successful. Buda Baker is in a good position to be successful. Just any key pieces that we have in the defense needs to be in the best position to be successful because once we get that going, I feel like Vance Joseph if he can get a couple more pieces and i'm talking about people that were you know injured from the beginning of the year and especially in the draft if we can get some awesome key pieces i feel like this defense could be pretty decent um pretty good um coming next year especially if we can get down the um the defense of vance joseph because the last thing you want to do is have another defensive coordinator come on come back and have them learn a new whole new system because in the grand scheme of things getting switching in and in and out it's just too much for players to constantly be learning different roles different you know uh, different words uh, different schemes and all that different stuff so i would hate for them to be put in that situation again where they got to learn another defense and just kind of let Vance Joseph do his thing, uh, come back next year, uh, come back stronger. Now, the only way I could see Vance Joseph possibly getting fired, even if he has a good game next year, is if a pristine defensive coordinator comes out available um you know out in the open market which doesn't really happen very often let's be honest here but you know just some notable names out there that i want to go ahead and bring out like todd bowles um i don't think bruce arians is gonna want to let go todd bowles they're like homies they're they're best friends he's not gonna go anywhere but if the possibility that Todd Bowles does you know get let go from the Tampa Bay organization I would be in open arms to bring Todd Bowles back here and um, you know just to kind of because he's been here before we have that 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 familiarity with Todd Bowles and I would be awesome to have him back here Um, another good defense of mine I feel like Jack Del Rio which was the head coach of the Raiders at one point I do feel like the head coaching position was just kind of way over his head, but I do know he can possibly be a good defensive uh, coordinator, which I, I do think that that would be an, a possibility. 
and 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 then also we do have you know Ron Rivera which you know is the ex head coach from the uh, Carolina Panthers but let's be honest here Ron Rivera is not not no way in heck going to settle for a defensive coordinator position where I'm pretty sure there's going to be a five teams plus looking for a head coach and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to be the number one choice from most of these teams that are looking for a head coach but hey a, a guy can dream at this point but guys that's what I really feel about um, Vance Joseph let me know what your comments are below drop a comment um, subscribe if you're new and yeah that's all I got guys I'm out thank you so very much